Titans had a uh, stat that they shared with us this week about, I think, your league leader over the past few years in, in tightly contested catches. Mm -hmm. um, what, is, what does that mean, and, and, you know, how have you been so productive when defenders are kind of all over you, you think? Um, it starts at practice, just uh, just the process, um, and just looking the ball um, all the way in. Um, just being in football shape, just all the little things that kind of ties into, um, you know, being a good receiver. <clears throat> Street have to be pretty big too to, to battle, you know, so often for. Um, for me, uh, I'm a battle regardless. Um, it's just who I am, my makeup, um, what I do, um, game in and game out. Um, I'm just I just go out there and compete with myself. Every play, just try to do my best every play. What kind of goes through your mind on, on some of those deep balls and, and how much faith you have to have in the quarterback to put it there? It seemed like the ball in Seattle, you just kind of sprinted, didn't even look up at the last minute. Is that just you expecting the ball to be there and want to get yourself yeah. in a position uh, to no, catch I was, it? <laughs> yeah, I was telling Ryan. He was like, man, I didn't know if you was going to look up, but I was just telling him I have all the faith in the world in him um, that the ball was going to be you know, what it needed to be. And um, we connected on it. Uh, but for me, when the ball is in the area, um, it's either our receivers or uh, nobody. So we just try to protect the quarterback as much okay. as possible. I'm sorry, is that just taping you guys? No, it is just tape. You always do it that way? Yeah, I always just put tape on like my what's hands. The, like what's the, the correlation to it is just um, when the ball hits my hand in certain areas, that's it. That's all, but nothing's wrong with my hands at all. <laughs> I just put tape. I can really put it on all of them. I just, just put it on there. <laughs> You're talking about the deep ball. Is it tempting on some of those balls to look up, and, and does it slow you down maybe when you do? Yeah, um, definitely. Um, you know, um, I had to learn that early on. Uh, Terry Robisky, it was one of those things like, yeah, I'm fast, but, like, you can't look too early. You know, it slows you down, and you can't get to those uh, deep balls and things like that. So uh, just keep your head down, uh, run through, you know, 15, 18 yards, and then just find the ball, track it. You passed the 13K receiving plateau, uh, receiving yards. Does that mean anything to you? No, I've just been playing for a while. That's what it just tells me, you know, I've been playing for a while. Um, uh, it's, 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 a, it's definitely a great accomplishment, though. Um, just, just having longevity, still going out there uh, producing, you know. Um, but... For me, man, it's just all about my, my team. My quarterback, my O-line, give me the ability to go out there and make plays, my coaches and things like that. So. And then along those lines to help out my, my Falcons teammate, um, my Falcons teammate reporter, he wanted me to ask you just about like what your favorite catch was from Matt Ryan. And mm -hmm. If you remember the play, if you remember you know, anything in, in the details about that. Um, for me, every catch is very is a difficult catch. Like You can't relax on any catch. Um, I think... Um, all the catches. It's just opportunity. It's just trust. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're going out there, if it's one-on-one -on -one or you double coverage and a quarterback throws you the ball and you make a play, you know what I'm saying? It's just that trust that you have between one another. So it's just, it's more so about the trust than the catch. Is there any one that, that's no, I don't have no, I, I don't have one catch that kind of stands out to me. Quite a difference yeah. from one week to another for you. Julio, did you feel more of that connection with Ryan just from, you know, yeah. from week one to week two? Uh, most definitely, and like I said, it's just me just being out there um, in the game atmosphere um, with Ryan, with the team, everything, just uh, week to week, practice, everything else, um, it'll run uh, smoothly. So um, for me, uh, just keep stacking days, keep stacking days, putting the work in, then just going out there and having fun on Sunday. You mentioned the deep balls. How much pride do you take, you know, this part into your career to still be able to get down the field and, you know, split defenders and, and, mm -hmm. and catch those deep balls? Um, for me, I think, you know, I have a lot of just God-given talent, you know, but I also work hard. Um, just being able to still run, you know what I'm saying, the way I run and different things like that. Um, but like I said, um, it just, the quarterback just having the faith in me to deliver the ball down the field and having, you know, believing in me that I can go get the ball and make a play, play for the team. Out there with uh, Warren Moon mm -hmm. after practice, what does it mean to have a guy like that at Hall of Famer out here to talk to you guys? Um, it's it's great. It's always great. I mean, on this level, you know, we like kids, we, the, the inner kid, right? It's like high school, college, things like that. When you got guys that come back and talk to you, I mean, you still get that same feel. Um, it's just amazing. The guys, the, you know, the pioneers that played before you, been here, Hall of Famers, a lot of things like that. And just coming out here and interacting with them, um, it just means a lot, you know, especially all of us collectively going around. He's down there talking to the quarterbacks and then me as a receiver, me, AJ, going down there communicating with him. 
um, it just means a lot. Just the organization and those guys coming back and having time to come back and just hang out at a practice. Did you kind of seek him out, and, and maybe what was your conversation like with him? <clears throat> yeah, so, um, well, me and AJ, we was kind of just standing right here, and I was like, hey, let's go down here and talk to Warren. But it was just, it's just more of like, we appreciate you, appreciate everything you've done for the game, um, and just being in their presence. That's all. So it's just, it was just a respect thing. Did you ever meet Billy White Shoes during your days in Atlanta? Did he ever give you any kind of tips on uh, touchdown nah. celebration? <laughs> nah, I know Billy, but nah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I might have to... We'll talk about that later. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. I don't know how much the road the run and shoot days, but how fun, much fun do you think it would have been to play in an offense like that with Warren Sling? Man, I, I don't know. I mean, right now it's fun. I'm, I'm enjoying myself right now. You know, so it's good.